Welcome back to the Shop Mini RC, everybody. I'm Ken, and today we're looking at the Injora trailer. We're going to open this guy up, see what it's about. Boom. Let's get it on the bench. Bam. Comes with some Injora stickers and the hitch hardware for this guy here. Just screws right on there. Now this hitch is designed to be used with the Injora bumpers. Basically it's a 1 18th trailer and the bumper that uh, you want to get for this guy if you're going to use this connector is going to be the 1 18th TRX4M Defender, Bronco or High Trail bumper that they make for it or just a general bumper with a trailer hitch. It's the 9796. And then there's other TRX4M bumpers that they make that will work too, but there's, they, they label these specifically as compatible. You can also always change this guy out and throw a new uh, rod end on or whatever else you want to use for other hitch styles. Um, as an example, we run a ball joint type hitch, and so we'll put a different end on here, basically just a plastic link end that you can then pop it right on there. But if you've got one of the Enjora trailers, or Enjora bumpers, excuse me, then this trailer will hook right up to that, no problem. Let's go ahead and talk about this guy a little bit. Here's the underneath. I kind of wish it had an actual uh, suspension, an articulating suspension. I feel like they could have just made these a little more flexy, and it would have had a little bit of suspension to it. Right now there's zero suspension, zero flex in the suspension or travel. Um, but they could have made these a little bit, I don't know, maybe do a little leaf spring setup or something. Either way, it would be very easy to change this up if you wanted to um, and get a little bit of uh, flexiness out of it. But it is cool that it's a dual axle setup, so you've got four wheels and tires. It does run on 1.0 wheels and tires, which is pretty good. The tires are decent, you know, they're trailer tires, so it's not like they need a ton of grip. I'm gonna go ahead and pull one of these off. We're gonna take a look at the axle shaft. They're true beadlocks, so that's cool. I don't know if there's foam in there or not, but I can open them up real quick and we'll check it out. Oh, they use uh, Phillips. I do like that these guys use the regular hex size that all of our 1.0s run so that we can put any new wheels and tires on it. They do have foams in there. These are the just regular plastic beadlock type wheels. They do look pretty good, though. I dig it. Take a chrome pen and chrome up all the, the bolts on there. It would look pretty sharp. We'll get that guy back together in a minute. Here's our hex. Interesting. It just rides on a bearing. So that's cool, though. It's got bearings. It's not on bushings or anything else like that. There's some spacers in there. I dig that. It's a cool setup. I definitely like the axle setup here. The only thing I wish was that it had a little bit better suspension setup. But I dig that. That's cool. Definitely seems heavy duty. The quality is, is superb. I mean, it feels feels good. It doesn't feel super cheap. It doesn't have like a lot of flex or bend to it or something like that. Um, it's definitely a sturdy, sturdy trailer for sure. The dimensions, in case you were wondering, it's basically 10 and a half inches, 10.63 inches or 270 millimeters by 5.75 inches or 146 millimeters. And then it's about 35 millimeters tall or 1.38 inches. Uh, this thread size is, is this an M3? I'm not sure actually. Yeah, looks like it's an M3. So three, three millimeter in there just in case you're looking for rod ends for it. But overall, pretty simple little setup. Definitely seems nice and durable, which is important. Uh, plenty of space to, you know, put your rigs on, your 18 scale rigs, or, you know, I could do maybe, no, probably can't fit two 24s. I don't know, let's get some trucks and uh, we'll throw them on there so you can see. So here's your standard SCX 24. It's got plenty of room on there. You can even do an AX 24, obviously. It's gonna fit just fine. Then we got the Gladiator. Gladiator's got more length, but it fits on here just fine as well. Again, it's really an 18 scale trailer, so these guys look a little 
a little small on here. One more SCX24. You get some wider axles on here. This you have the Enjoras. So you got the, the wider axle and you'll you'll need the larger trailer for that than a normal SCX24 trailer just because you know you got wider axles and bigger tires. So that works pretty well with this kind of a guy, this sort of setup here. Go ahead and move on to the new Fury Wagon from Puritech. This is a 118 scale. She fits in there just like so. The FMS. This is the FCX24 K5. This is looking a little bit more scale. K5 is obviously bigger. It's really closer to an 18 scale. Um, if we want to stick with 24 scale bodies, you've got the Max Smasher FCX24. And this guy, unfortunately, does not fit because it's got really wide monster truck tires on there so unfortunately your max smasher or your big monster truck with fms fcx24 axles not gonna, not gonna work on this guy here unfortunately we do have this scx24 6x6 and she fits in perfect like literally snug as a bug in a rug you've got the new lc80 from FMS, this is the FCX 18. So it's the same width as the other FCXs um, until you put big tires on it, I guess, but it's longer. So it definitely has a longer wheelbase here, which this trailer is gonna accommodate that perfectly. So this truck actually looks pretty good on there, uh, especially if you're gonna put a little bit bigger tire on there, which a lot of people are gonna do, then uh, you'll definitely need that trailer width. So that'll be perfect. We got the rock van. That guy fits in there. Actually looks pretty good on there. It's got just enough room side to side. Looks pretty scale. I'm digging that. Let's get some of the bigger 18 scales. These are the FMS and Rock Hobby 18 scales. Hmm, that looks pretty good. Just about the right width. Got a little bit of hangover in the back. A little bit of hangover in the front. But yeah. It fits. It works. This could look cool pulling the trailer too, I guess, huh? And we've got that 6x6. Six six. Mind you, we took the bed off. But look at this. Even that guy fits. It's just barely hanging on. But it would hang over just a little bit more with the bed. But the tires are all on there. So, good to know. Another one that could be kind of cool pulling the trailer. We don't know what we're going to do with the bed on this guy yet, but we'll do something. We've even got this super wide TRX 4M Ripper. Now, mind you, this is super wide. We have it on uh, custom, you know, the portals that are extended off the stock axles, and that guy will not fit. Not so much. However, a regular Ripper with some of the Mias portal, or not portals, but Mias straight axles. They are a little wider than normal, I believe, um, and it fits in there snug as well. These have wideners a little bit, so yeah. But that guy fits. That looks pretty cool. And we'll do one more SCX that's widened. So that's our widened deadbolt. All right. And the last guy is going to be, that I'll show, is this. This is a uh, TRX-4M Defender. And he fits on there just fine as well. If you widened the axles, you'd have a little bit of space to go, but not too, too much. And again, if you put monster truck tires on it, it probably will not fit, unfortunately. But overall, it looks great with almost all the rigs. Um, the SCX is a little small on it, but again, it depends on how your build is set up. I think the SCX with the Enjora Plus 4s and the larger tires actually looks really good on there. You know, especially if you put some scale accessories up in the front here, a toolbox or something, it would look perfect right you know any sort of you know welder toolbox some gas cans stuff like that yeah i think that looked damn good overall though like i said fairly simple uh product there's not a lot of craziness to it compared to you know our ready to run rcs when we review those we go pretty deep but yeah definitely worth checking out i think the price on this guy is like under 35 bucks so you know that's a really good price uh, for an all-metal trailer. Again, it's all metal. 
It's not plastic. Even the fenders, they're metal. The only plastic on here really is the wheel, right? Everything else is metal. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, I definitely dig that. It means quality, guys. It's not going to fall apart, not going to get worse over time. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some running footage, just kind of pulling this guy around a little bit. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, do all those things you do at the end of videos you like, and uh, build something awesome, guys. Go with this trailer and scale out a rig. We're probably going to pull this guy with this eventually. Um, I don't know. We'll see. In the running video, we're going we're gonna to use our K5, our black K5. But uh, yeah, enjoy, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, definitely check one of these guys out if you're looking for a trailer. Killer price again. Uh, we have a ton of different trailers now, so keep an eye out for a trailer comparison video. We'll probably do that where we'll line up all the different trailers and just kind of walk through um, just so you can see the different sizes compared to each other because they do vary a lot in different sizes. There are some, you know, 24 scale trailers that are much, much smaller. Even the Traxxas trailer that comes with uh, or that they sold initially with the first release of TRX4M's much, much smaller trailer. I mean, you're not fitting a rig in there. What's cool about these kind of trailers is that you can actually put a rig in there. It's not just for scale accessories. You can actually tow some trucks behind there. And we all have more than one truck, at least most of us. If you don't, you probably should get another one just so you can experience something different, uh, pick up something you haven't picked up before. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. Make sure you subscribe for our trailer compare video. It should be coming hopefully soon. We'll see. Um, got a couple others on the way, so we'll, we'll do a review on those and also a comparison. Get out there and build something awesome, guys. Race, crawl, bash, crash them, smash them, bash them, build a community, build a car, build a course, all those catchphrases. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Take care.